You know, um, and I watch her grow, and it's amazing to me that she visits us every 90 days, every, once a year, and she goes back home and still continue her recovery in the way that she does. She has a whole lot to offer, a lot of her experience, strength, and hope. So we want to welcome her and allow her to share with us. <laughs> Grateful Recovering Annie called Natural. Uh, I'd like to welcome our newer member. You're always the most important person at any Narcotics Anonymous meeting. Welcome. And I surely like to pay homage to the ones that were here prior to me getting here. Like, I really love y'all. And I'm truly an addict who thought she would die using drugs. I don't say that because I've heard it a couple times. Um, I don't say it because it sounds good, but I literally, so if I get emotional when I speak, it's because I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Mm. Just grateful for life and the air that I breathe and the opportunities that I've been afforded through Narcotics Anonymous. Like, I didn't think this could work for me, y'all. Um, when I left detox and nobody had to call nobody on me, I checked myself and they got that bad. They gave me this meeting list, the same meeting list they're going to give you, same meeting list they still give us 26 years later. And they said, here, after I sat there with them for seven days, because that's all my insurance would really give me. And I was up there trying to tell them, listen, I need more than seven days. I will die. I need like a 30 day, a 90 day, a six month, a nine month. And um, she said, all your insurance is giving you is seven days. And here's your meeting list. And I threw it at back. I said, this piece of paper ain't going to save my life. That very piece of paper saved my life. Mm -hmm. And it was nothing but a list of meetings. This right here. My mother picked me up from detox. She said, where are you going? Because she had had it with me. She had turned my mattress up against the wall. <laughs> Literally. She was going to Al-Anon, that place to teach yeah. people how to deal with us when they can't handle it no more. Because yeah. it's difficult trying to live with people like us. Yeah. Actively use it. Okay? And um, she said, where are you going, daughter? I said, I'm, well, drop me at the 1212. The only reason I knew the 1212 because my sister had 15 years in already. She was in already, 15, trying to read all this stuff to me. Standing over top of my bed after, oh. after, I was one of the best hairdressers in the city of Wilmington, right? So after I was spending my whole $4,000 that I made in one night, mm -hmm. couldn't buy myself a pack of cigarettes, spent all the food stamps, because when you're self-employed, you can still get them. And I want to come in her, want to sleep in her house for the next three days so I can get myself together to go again. And my sister would be reading all this. She would have this blue book right here, I remember. It's basic text. And she'd be standing up trying to read it to her baby sister. And I'm trying to sleep. And I'd be saying, Mama, if you don't come get this B-I-T-C-H out of my room. And she would sit on the edge of the bed. And I would kick her off. And I mm. Hey, the literature says spiritual in nature. Mm -hmm. It said a personality changes what was needed. Listen, last time I was here, a couple last times I was here, I tried to take somebody to detox. And they told me to take them to the emergency room. Mm -hmm. Knowing it ain't nothing the doctors could do for us. Mm -hmm. It's spiritual in nature. It's literally spiritual. Not religious. It's spiritual. And the reading just gave all these examples of what it is. It says self-discovery. It said it's no single recipe because you keep coming long enough. Yours will start looking different than everybody else's. Somebody said I shut down because they was talking over here like something else. And I was scared to call my God its name because I know it's different than all of y'all. Yeah. I know it is. So, but I wouldn't say nothing because y'all was saying one thing. It said, come on, bring it. Whatever you got, bring it right here. It said, um... Find people we trust. And then it listed a few, like sponsor, trusted friends. 
I'm going to stay right there for a minute. Mm. So, um, these last few days, I've been talking to ex-sponsees, ex-sponsors, and trusted friends. That's who I've been dealing with since I got off the plane May 1st. And uh, the sponsor was having a um, sponsee meeting like we always used to do when I was with them. Mm-hmm. And uh, she asked me to make something, a kale salad or something. She picked it up. And they, I got a phone call from all of them this morning. And they called me just to say, wow, natural. Like, we be following you on Facebook. Like, we love you. We love your life. We so glad to hear your voice. And I was so glad to hear theirs. It was just love. Yeah. It was simply love, Right. And the love is so heavy that I'll still do whatever she asks me to do. So I don't know what y'all get out of sponsorship, right? But you should be trying to, when I say you, I'm talking about me. It's just the way I share. We should be trying to build something that's concrete, something that will help us save our life, right? Because even when I'm across the water, I still talk to her. She still ring my phone. I still ring my phone. Um, I'm just in a place... Because I moved out the country, I'm not, I don't need to, I don't have a need to put labels on life so much anymore. You helped me save my life, and period. That's all. You ain't got to call you my sponsor. I ain't got to call you this. But I'm going to talk to one of y'all every single day. I ain't got to call it nothing but recovery and love. And see, it's spiritual in nature. Mm -hmm. So while I'm driving up the highway, One of the first women that I sponsored called me with tears in her eyes to um, just talk about the love, right? And um, since I've been here, I ran into a situation where I needed to get from Dover, Smyrna, up to Wilmington in the middle of the night because uh, the person that was saying they would do it, do it, do it, had me waiting all day and never came, and it was having to do with my business, which I'm serious about my business, right? So I needed to get up to one sponsee's house, ex-sponsee's house, and I called a ex-sponsee. I'm talking about putting the work in. I'm talking about put, put in the work and watch the benefits, right? So I called her. It's like 12 midnight. So I know it's kind of late to be driving to Smyrna or Dover, right? And I know we be dressed for bed. I do. I ain't like it used to be. I'd be ready for bed. I'd be coming out with my clothes. I'd be ready. <laughs> so I knew if she got out of her bed, it was going to be doing me a favor out of love. And so first she said, wow, I can't. I can't. I can't do that, right? And then five minutes later, she called back. She said, wait a minute. Like, this is natural. Like, she don't call us for anything. Mm-hmm. And she came. She said, my husband won't come with me, blah, 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 because it's dark and it's late to get to another Ex Sponsee's house who said, Natural, um, we want to bless you. I said, Bless me how? What's up? She said, um, We have a car sitting in our driveway. And we don't drive it. We like you to drive it while you're here. I said, Well, I'm here for 90 days. She said, We'll bring it to you after we get it serviced, all right? But I'm going to come and get it. So I shared the day before that that I don't really think I know what love is. Because I came here to file for a divorce. So I'm, I'm feeling that. One type of love, right? And I said, see, I'm not going to tell myself that anymore. You got to be careful what you tell yourself. It's called word, sound, mm-hmm. power. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Be careful what you tell yourself. Yes. That's bullshit, y'all. I know what love is. It just don't come in the form that I wanted. A long, hard, stiff, six foot two, well, brown top. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Because I'll get messed. We're talking about addiction and recovery here, right? But I know what love is. I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. And I will never, ever tell myself I don't know what love is again. That's right. Yes. Yes. Speak it into existence. Mm. Mm-hmm. This thing is really, really heavy, y'all. But it's simple. Now, I know it may not 
appear simple all the time because yeah. they said if you just don't pick it up, it won't get in you. I said, y'all crazy. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell me if I just don't touch this white piece of it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and it's sitting there, and if I just don't pick it up, it, mm. it won't get in me. Ooh. So um, it went on to say we grow when we listen with an open mind. Mm -hmm. So I've been talking about sponsorship all morning. And by the way, Mike, where's Mike? Tender mercy. Oh. I really want to apologize to you on group level. And I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this because it's vitally important. We might have some newer members in here because I asked you to sponsor me some time ago when I was here a couple times ago. And I never really took advantage of it. Like, I didn't allow you. To sponsor me like you was excited you said I ain't never did it out the country but I'm excited to try right <laughs> and um, I want to apologize because that sponsorship in name only you mm -hmm. defeating your purpose here uh -huh. right. you'll hurt yourself right. you can ask somebody to sponsor you if you want and never take full advantage of it mm -hmm. you're doing yourself a disservice yeah, so I sure. really want to apologize to you I love you I know you love me I know you do I'm not confused about that but we got to start communicating better yes. around here when relationships end or you can't find what you need anymore or you have a disagreement and you leave the country and you're not speaking or come on, natural. We got to do better. And wherever it happens at. We, that's where we need to settle that. Don't be trying to quiet me down and we talk about it in the park when it happened right here. No, you act the fool right here. This is where we need to come in here and apologize right here. That's right. That's all. So um, spiritual in nature, spirit awakens, and spiritual growth. Now, yesterday I attended yoga. It is a part of my recovery process. We have to add other things in sometime, right? Mm -hmm. So she always does this thing. And um, she said, give yourself a hug. Mm -hmm. Right? I ain't think nothing of it. And I did like this. She said, I want you to change that position. There's an arm that's underneath. Put it on top. Now, when I went like this, mm -hmm. whew, mm. I lost it. I lost it. Now, I am part of a fellowship that specializes in hugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know hugs save your life. Somebody giving you one, that's nice. You can feel it. You giving somebody one, saving their life, beautiful. But hug yourself. Mm -hmm. mm. 26 years later, and I hugged myself and lost it. Oh. It was something about that other position. I don't know if it went up here. It just, uh -huh. it did the whole thing. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The whole thing that I've been begging for other people to give me. Yeah, yeah. My mama. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You should not be demanding anything. We should not be demanding anything from someone that we can't give ourselves. Yeah. God will not do anything for us that we can do for ourselves. That's why a lot yeah. of us be sitting yeah. here like this. That's true. Mm -hmm. We do what we can't do. And know? can't get nowhere, can't do nothing, won't walk, won't talk, won't handle it because you're waiting for something to happen that he's already given you the ability mm -hmm. to do. Yes. That's why a lot of us can't get nowhere. Uh -huh. You don't want to come here and just sit and not do anything else because I'm telling you, this program affords us so much mm -hmm. when it comes to living. We already know how to survive. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're a survivor. That's good. That's nice. Mm -hmm. But show me how you living. Yes, yes. Show me how you living. Somebody said to me the other day, they said, how did you learn how to do all that? All this, all that. How you learn how to do all that? I said, the literature talks about it. It's called Lost Dreams Awaken. Because guess what? I always knew about it. I knew about it. But when I started smoking that crack, it all went away. Okay. It disappeared. Even my sewing machine went somewhere. I don't even know what happened to it. I make all my clothes. I can't live without my machine. Yes. It wasn't even there when I woke up. And I say, wow. 
So I made a conscious decision. I'm telling you people, we have something inside of us. And if you don't get nothing from me today, I need you all to hear this. We got something inside of us. I'm not the only one. I call them God-given talents. Right? So if you sitting here and you don't know what to do and nobody will give you a job, you might not want to come to me with that story. Because I'm going to say, listen, create one. You have something inside of you that can take you far. It can take you to live in another country. It can take you and you will be able to sustain yourself. Create your own streams of income. Y'all cry when this shit be happening. I'm telling you. Because I be over there without y'all. I'm, and I'm not calling y'all talking about cash at me. And I ain't going to be sitting on the side of nobody's curb because my creator said you ain't got to live like that no more. Right? You have something inside of you that can sustain you and take you all around the world. I'm not the only one. I ain't special. It's just that some of us die never tapping into the thing. My, one spot you should call it the thing under the thing. Okay, this is the thing. Now there's a thing under the thing. That's why you guys stick and stay. And you got to trust the process. You got to step out on faith and do it, even if it's with your eyes closed. Even if you're scared, you got to do it. Do it. Because I'm telling you, it's so much out there. The thing blows my mind. When I'm sitting and doing that thing that that person said, how you learn how to do all that? I cry. I'll be at the dining room table like this. Wow, I did that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I start crying. I start crying. Today. I ain't talking about last year. I'm talking about today. I can't go sell nothing if I don't create it with my hands because everything I sell, I create. Wow. I start crying. Wow. And I'm not the only one that has it in me. Yeah. It's in us. We just been so beat down uh -huh. so long by ourselves. You got to believe this thing. If you believe it, I'm telling you, it'll take you to a place you never imagined. The literature said it. I'm just repeating it. I'm just living proof. And so are you. Thanks for allowing me to share. Yeah.